welcome to my channel. My name's Momo and I'm very happy to have you here. Today I'm going to show you the most recent um, set of nails that I have done on myself. Um, I am not a nail tech, but I am a nail enthusiast and I give myself manicures um, at least once a month, sometimes twice, depending on how long I keep my nails on. And yeah, this is what I did most recently. So you'll see I'm starting off with some uh, builder gel on my nails already. I keep luminary gel on my nails at all times, usually. I have been playing around with other stuff, but I have a lot of luminary gel to go through. I bought like a, um, a refill uh, bottle, so that's what I have on. And then I'm going through and adding a little bit of base coat just to freshen up the base and also to add a little bit more um, strength, just a little bit, because I did do a pretty thin layer of the luminary gel this time around. And I'm fully curing that and then going in with a milky white um, color. This one's from Jin B. And the inspiration for today's set came from a couple of French nail artists, uh, Cheeky Devil Nails and Nails by Pasadena. Nope not Pasadena, Padina, I'm sorry. Um, but yes, they have been posting these gorgeous, chromey, um, just almost jewelry-like kind of alien vibes, a little blobby, but not in a super weird way, <laughs> more in like a beautiful jewelry kind of way. Um, what a description. I don't know. You'll have to tell me what you think of these. Uh, anyway, so I went in with that milky white gel and now I'm, I just did one coat of it as well. I didn't want anything super opaque, just sort of to even out the color. And now I'm going in with the ice gel, um, chrome top gel and giving that a cure and then going in with this beautiful chrome powder. This is from the sunset powder collection. If you've been here before, I'm sure you've seen me use it. <laughs> These are so beautiful. They're from Ice Gel as well, which is a Korean nail brand, and they're just beautiful. Um, you'll see that I'm doing one nail at a time, and that is so that uh, the chrome is pretty fresh out of the lamp when I apply the chrome powder. In my experience, that's important to get a good um, application. And if you're curious, I did go through... Um, all the steps that I take and all the tricks that I have for doing chrome. So uh, feel free to check out that video if you need a little bit of help with chrome. But anyway, I'm going in one nail at a time and applying this chrome powder and really working it in there. Um, it's gorgeous. I do think that if I were to try this again, I might not use the milky white underneath, but I might use like something that's either, either nothing at all or um, something that's like more of a jelly glass consistency. Um, this is beautiful, don't get me wrong, but I do like how transparent they are in some of the pictures that I've seen, um, some of the other sets that I've seen. Anyway, I decided to just skip to the fun part, which is applying the chrome, but just know that for each of these nails, I did cure a layer of the top gel um, and then instantly apply the chrome. And I have some uh, fun news, I guess. Not really news, but I ordered what appears to be a dupe of these powders. Um, it was pointed out by Nail Journal. It's a set from Varnail. And um, it's the names of the powders are like sunset related, I think. So I think they are like intended to be the same idea. And I'm really curious to try them out and see if they are a more affordable version of these, if they have that extreme high shine that these ones do, because these ones just, they're very like glossy in a way that in my experience trying um, some of like the just less expensive chrome powders, because they definitely exist. Sometimes they have just a little bit of like a grit to them or not that super high shine finish, but... I have hope for these Varnail ones, so I'll let you know how they go. Anyway, how pretty is that? These look gorgeous. <laughs> um, so I'm going ahead and using this clear gel from D-Gel. It's in a pumping container, which is really nice, although this is a thick version, so it's kind of difficult to pump out. No worries, though. I'm using a thick version because I want a nice, decent coat on top of the chrome. And for one, this is to lock in the chrome because if you know, you know, 
whenever you use like a, a chrome all over like this, you need to, before doing any type of art or anything like that, seal it in with a clear gel. So that's reason number one. And reason number two, um, for using kind of a thicker builder gel is because often builder gels tend to be less porous. Um, and if you use things that are less porous when you're doing isolated chrome on top of them, there's less of a likelihood that the chrome that you're rubbing into the isolated spots you want, which in this case, it's gonna be silver rings that we're doing, it's less likely to burnish into the base layer if the base layer is a little bit more um, hard. And then the last reason is because I want a thicker layer so that I can easily lightly buff, which you'll see that I've done um, now that we flip over to this next part of the process. Um, I want to be able to lightly buff without going through the gel and scratching up the chrome in any way. So you'll see that I've done my thumb and my pointer finger, but um, between this last clip and this one, I have cured the degel gel, and then I went in with not a file, but actually just a buffer um, and lightly buffed enough to make the um, builder gel a little bit matte. And that's gonna help, again, as mentioned with the isolated chrome we're doing here with these little rings that will be silver. So anyway, I'm using um, another top coat. Um, this one is by, I think it's by Jin B. Um, it's, I have it right here, let me look. It is the Crazy Top, um, and it's in thick. And so I'm using this to paint um, two concentric circles um, on the nail that we will be applying chrome powder to. So I very quickly flash cured the first one. I don't want to do too much curing because as we know, if you over cure gel, it can be hard to apply chrome. So I did like a five second flash cure of that outer line just so that it doesn't go anywhere. And now I'm doing this inner circle um, as quickly as I can with that same gel. And I am on the hunt for something that's a little better to do isolated chrome with um, because I've tried black um, painting gels that are non-wipe, but often I will have issues curing them, I've found. Um, and then when I do the chrome, it almost, it's a little too sticky almost. I don't know, if you have suggestions, let me know. But I would prefer to use something that's darker because it's easier to see what you're painting. Anyway, now we are going in and applying this beautiful silver chrome. This one is also from Ice Gel, but I will say, I think it's less important to spend your money on high quality silver and gold chromes because I feel like those have been perfected and you can find them more easily for a lower cost, but I'm not sure the same can be said for some of like the the clear iridescent ones. I would like to find out. I have ordered a couple of random ones from like Amazon and they don't shine as brightly as the ice gel ones. However, again, I have high hopes for the Varnail ones. So I'm going in and just completing the same process on the ring finger. And I believe this is the only one I show you of this because you get the idea, but I'm just doing these one by one on each nail. And I wish I would have taken the time to perfect these a little bit more, um, but I found it really hard to get super perfect lines while also filming um, because I can't get really up close. Um, but anyway, here is the silver chrome again. Lovely. Would you wear these? I'm so curious. Um, I find these like really appealing. Um, I really, really like the way these look. And I'm curious if others feel the same way. They do have like an art deco -y alien vibe to me, and they remind me of jewelry in a cool way. Um, I don't know. These have just been really catching my eye when I see them. Anyway, we're flashing forward here to all of the nails being done. There they are. That's how they look. And then we are also flashing a bit forward to 
finish off the last two nails with this um, next step of the process. So I've put some magnetic gel over there on my palette. It's the gold stuff that I dipped into. And I'm just creating a little circle, more like an oval actually, in the center of the nail using a striping brush. And I'm using um, the, they're from, again, Ice Gel. <laughs> I'm using um, the Star Prism Galaxy, something along those lines. I'll link them for sure. But they have like this multi-shifting reflect. Um, so yeah, they're really fun. I thought these would look really nice underneath um, of the little dome of gel that we're gonna put on next. So just activating them the same way I always do on top and on both of the sides, on bottom, etc. Just basically going around the edges of this blob and pushing the, the magnetic bits up and toward the center. And here's how they look. I think they already look really nice, but adding this like dome of gel really creates this like gemstone-esque thing or like Honestly, it reminds me of like a scepter or like the eye of Sauron or something, something very fantasy as well. You know, that's another thing. These these have a very fantasy vibe to them um, as well as like space vibe. But anyway, you'll see that I'm using the McCart rhinestone glue and just kind of creating like the shape that I want. Um, almost like kind of like you lay down a slip layer for builder gel and then adding a little blob to it. Um, and then you can just tip your finger over and hold it over if you need the gel to kind of self correct and create a perfect dome. So that's definitely a trick to use while doing this, but it's not hard, especially not when you're using like a squeeze gel bottle like this. Um, so yeah, and you can kind of see the side profile of them there. Very pretty. So I flash cured those. Um, I'm going in and doing the last one and then I'll fully cure. And then, um, yeah, we're just going to do the top coat next and we'll be done. But yes, um, these are really fun. I've been wearing them a little bit. I will say they're really difficult to take accurate pictures of, um, or maybe I am just not good at taking pictures of them. I'm not sure. You can see there I'm going and flipping up my hand, flipping my hand upside down, I mean to say, so that the gel will just sort of pool and create a nice dome shape. So I'm going in with a scratch resistant top coat. It's a hard gel top coat, which I personally really enjoy. Um, this one is from Light Elegance. It's called, I think, Super Shiny. And I'm making sure to take my time to get in all the nooks and crannies um, because if you've worked with chrome, you'll know you have to cover every little bit of that silver chrome, which has not been sealed in yet, um, so that once you cure them and wipe off the inhibition layer and wash your hands and do whatever else in life that you're doing, that chrome won't just wipe right away. You have to seal it in. So finishing off with um, some cuticle and nail cream. Uh, this was sent in a beauty box that I ordered a while back. Um, and it's really nice. It smells very woody. Very much enjoy it. We have to rehydrate, right? Our hands need to be hydrated. Remember to use your cuticle oil. I don't always show it, but I do actually pretty religiously use cuticle oil. So here's how they're looking. Um, this is me trying my best <laughs> to capture exactly how they shift. Um, sort of hard to do, but I hope you enjoyed them. Let me know if you've been seeing these pop up. I'm so curious what everyone else's feed looks like on Instagram and anywhere else. Um, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope that if you enjoyed the video and you're not already you'll stick around and subscribe and i look forward to seeing you again soon in the future bye